Hey guys, it's Devil. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so the trailer released on IGN today that I previously published on my channel is the new trailer for the Spies vs. Mercs for Splinter Cell Blacklist. Now, as many of you don't know, my Chaos Theory versus like the versus mode in Chaos Theory was my favorite gaming memory of all time. It's absolutely an ex exceptional, and if you don't know what it is, I'll probably put out an ex explanation video of what that is, but I'm going to break down the trailer that came out today on IGN and I'm going to let you guys see some things that you might not have noticed and I'm going to tell you guys what you might need to know and some things that I'm actually concerned about. So let's get right into it. Security we're about to lose one. Get the intruder. All right, guys. So immediately in the first frame with the Mercs, there's a couple things we're going to notice. The first thing we hear come over the mic is... Hurry up, you're about to lose one. Meaning, that's an audio cue that started with Double Agent. Where, it that means there's a, there's a spy hacking a terminal and you need to hurry up and go kill one. It's not a security system saying it, it's an actual person saying it. And I do not like this, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of other uh, spies versus mercs enthusiasts will agree that they don't like this. This actually started with Double Agent. Double Agent is where a lot of Splinter Cell fans agree that the versus mode started to go way off in a direction that they didn't like. Uh, I'm in the same boat. I think Chaos Theory was the best uh, by far, but I'm gonna try and remain as unbiased as I can for this explanation of the, the trailer. But basically, it wasn't a security system saying it, it was a third person saying it. So it was like an observer type person, and he's basically saying, go, go there and get this. I don't like that. The way it worked in Chaos Theory was whenever a spy would be hacking a terminal, a little audio cue would play, some little music, like dramatic music, and you would know no, it wasn't like some guy was watching on some security feed talking to you, trying to tell you exactly what to do. That way, the little audio music would play, but you could still listen to the surrounding area. You could still listen to spies in the area, and it wasn't just, it wouldn't take away from the immersion. It actually enhanced the immersion because music does so much more for you than somebody saying something to you. So that's the first thing you guys might not have noticed. Another thing is the flashlights are now on the weapon. It's like a weapon attachment. It's no longer on the helmet. The helmet... Well, if you think back to Chaos Theory, the flashlight was actually pretty big. It lit up a pretty big area. That's because the flashlight was farther back on the helmet. Now it's farther up on the weapon. This does two things. This one narrows the field of view and creates a stronger source of light. So it's kind of a trade-off. It's, it's really preference. I prefer almost everything the Chaos Theory way. If they could release the Chaos Theory with updated graphics and updated servers, that would be perfect for me. But let's continue with the trailer. Copy. We're almost there. Security breach. Attacking the area. Security breach. Don't ask me what that was. I don't know what it is. Shit. I've got movement. Where? Everywhere. Contact! Alright, so the next thing you notice is a scene where the Merc says, I got movement everywhere. And you see the little footprints coming down his heartbeat sensor. Now, this means... A couple different things. If you notice, this is the first scene where we actually get to see a spy firing, and he doesn't have a crosshair. He has to aim down his sights if he wants to go down his sights. That's kind of cool because you couldn't aim down the sights with two of the three weapons in the previous uh, Chaos Theory. They're, bring they're bringing a lot more modern uh, type feel to the game, and that's cool, but previously the HUD used to have a crosshair, and on the sides of the crosshair you would hear the sound from where a spy was if the spy was standing up and being reckless and moving quickly. I'm assuming that this heartbeat sensor, which only was previously available to... Well, it looks like a heartbeat sensor. It's not a heartbeat sensor. I'm sorry. It was only previously available to the spies. Well, what I'm assuming this is, is if a spy is up moving around quickly, that will act as the sound did in Chaos Theory. It's not necessarily, I can detect you through walls. It's, I can detect you through walls if you're moving quickly. It's a way to basically give sound... Uh, Better hearing to the mercs and I think that there's a there, there might be a few better ways to do this but it, it looks pretty good it looks like it, it will be balanced uh, personally I think people should just have 3d headphones 3d surround sound whatever and that would really add to the immersion then you could really listen for spies and it doesn't matter how slow they'd be moving they could you could hear them if you get close enough but that's just my personal opinion uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments let's get on with the trailer and keep watching Alright, so the next thing we see is a spy drop down from the banister and kill that merc, and that's great. That's what we love. That's what spies are known for. They're known for being agile. They're known for cracking necks and pulling mercs over railings. That's sweet. But, 
the next thing it cuts to is what looks like a spy slitting the throat of a merc, and that's not what we like. What a lot of Chaos Theory enthusiasts, I know a lot of people might disagree with me, but a lot of people dislike where Conviction took the franchise. They don't like the run and gun feel, and this game, Blacklist, is actually doing a pretty good job of giving the player the option of using the run and gun or running the, the ghost type thing in single player, but I really hope that they leave it to the ghosty type stuff in multiplayer and don't put any kind of run and gun stuff. We don't want spies running up and just slicing the neck of a merc. It's all about outsmarting the player. It's about using your environment, using tricks and tactics to outsmart the guy who has the bigger guns. And I really hope that it's just the way that they edited it, but because you can't physically see the knife. But in the wallpaper that they released right here, the spy does have a knife. So that throws up a red flag for a lot of people. I really hope that it's just him cracking a neck and walking away as he falls to the ground. Alright, so we get some nice screenshots of the new maps that are available, and then we get to see how the smoke grenade works, and also the stupidest merc in all, of all time who just walks right past a spy who just for some thought it was like the sneakiest thing ever to back into some smoke that he threw. But the smoke grenades are nice. The smoke grenades are now black smoke, so it makes it even harder for you to see a spy within them, I'm assuming, and it looks, it kind of blends the shadow a lot better with black smoke as opposed to yellow smoke. That's something that I really do like. Also, you may not have noticed the spy is holding what appears to be a pistol. Some guy in game I was talking to about the trailer said that, oh, it's a folded up crossbow that fires gas. That's... Uh, that seems a little bit far-fetched. I know there is a crossbow in the game. You can get it by pre-ordering. I don't know if it'll be in multiplayer, but it does look a lot like a 5.7. Now, that's a huge problem that I'm going to have with the game because I don't think spies should have guns. Being able to shoot somebody from the rafter while you're in third person, they're in first person, is a huge tactical advantage no matter how much armor they have. It's really about outsmarting and using your gadgets. That's what I really loved about Chaos Theory. I'm going to try and stop harping on how much Chaos Theory, I, how much I love about Chaos Theory, and I'm just going to try and give you guys the facts, but I'm really passionate about this, as you guys can probably tell. All right, so a few seconds later, we actually get to see the knife in-game. In, if you freeze the frame for right this second, you can actually see the spy holding the knife as he took down that merc. Now, what I'm assuming is you can't just use the knife and run up and shank people. I'm assuming it's part of the takedown sequences, and you only pull it out when you're th doing some kind of pre-recorded animation. At least I hope that's how it is. I can assure you Wait a second, did that merc just jump over a railing? AK-47! I don't really have anything special to say about that other than it was badass. Hostile dead. Okay, whoa, they just revealed that there's going to be a 4 on 4 versus. That's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, I don't know if I agree with it because a lot of the a lot of the tactics come from 2 on 2 being able to work with a partner against a individual while they have to split up and cover more ground type stuff. But if the maps are big enough and the game uh, I guess if it's 4 on 4 that's pretty even. I guess it could work. But that's a big step up because in Chaos Theory it used to be 2-on-2 two two or 1-on-3 and then in Double Agent it was 3-on-3 three three, I believe. I, I don't remember because that game was so shitty but I only played it for like 5 minutes. But this does look pretty cool. It looks pretty intriguing and it does bring in the option of having a lot more friends in the game. One problem that was, one big problem with Chaos Theory was it was only 2-on-2. Two two, so if you have more than 3 friends, you can't really play with them. So this is a big step up and I really look, I'm really looking forward to this part of the game. So sad face. They just revealed the sonar goggles in versus. I'm I'm not a big fan of sonar goggles. I think it takes away and makes the game a lot easier. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm not a fan of having these in multiplayer because a big part of Chaos Theory, I thought, was having this find having to know where the mercs were i mean if you can just sonar goggle through the walls and see that the guys on the other side of the map you can just start hacking 
sonar goggle in the middle of your hack, see that he's coming around the corner, and just leave. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, I like to be able, like I love having to set up sticky cameras and stuff like that to know or spy bullets so you could know where they are. Positioning is huge in this game, and being able to just find out their position immediately is kind of broken. Frag grenade gets tossed instead of shot from the gun, and the spy drops a UMP-45, which is a submachine gun. Now I'm kind of crossing my fingers that that's the actual taser gun from the original Chaos Theory, but it could also be Sticky Shockers, so cross your fingers, guys. Marks get machine guns! Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up. This game comes out late August. Don't take what I've said the wrong way. I am extremely excited for this game. I love Splinter Cell. I love almost everything about Splinter Cell, but I am very, very passionate about it. It is my favorite gaming memory of all time, and I will critique the shit out of it. If I see something I don't like, I'm not afraid to say it, but I am very, very, very excited for this game. I will cover it in depth on my channel if you guys would like to know more about the game make sure you guys subscribe and i will put out updates as they come out and i will still be covering all my other previous things like arma etc thank you for watching peace